I was had just dropped my kids off at St. Brendan's Preschool, my two twins, and then I took my other daughter. We were we went to the public shopping center, um, and she was seven months old. And I remember because now she's 18 years old and started college. I was in the office on that day, and uh, someone had checked the news and saw that something was happening. So we had a TV that wasn't even hooked up to cable. Our Hispanic coordinator had it in an office. So we had grainy black and white footage, and we spent most of the morning working and watching uh, and praying. I was part of a group of women um, that had a prayer group. Um, and we met on Tuesdays. And so that particular morning, um, and this group met in Decatur. So that particular morning, I drove um, to Decatur, and at about... I got there a little bit early, and so I was just sitting in the parking lot in my car, and I had the radio on, and there was an announcement that a plane had hit the one of the towers. I thought, oh my gosh, that's terrible. And I turned off the radio and went into the prayer meeting, and we were there all morning, and had no idea, none of us, what had happened until we left. Mm -hmm. I remember on 9-11, I was at the YMCA gym working out early in the morning, and um, the radio station that I was listening to interrupted to say a plane had flown into the World Trade Center. And um, on my way home, about 30 minutes later, I heard that another plane had flown into the World Trade Center and realized that it wasn't just an accidental um, crash into the center. That this was deliberate. Uh, September 11th, 2001, I was a junior in college uh, at the University of Georgia. Um, and as soon as we found out uh, that they were in fact terrorist attacks, um, we were all dismissed, went home, and I spent the day with my roommates um, praying and wondering what we were gonna do with our lives. At the end of that day, all five of us, both roommates and friends, ended up kneeling at St. Joseph's Catholic Church in Athens and just asking God for help and blessings of our lives and those that were affected by the terrible tragedies. I remember very well where I was on September 11th. I was coming into my office at St. Francis of Assisi Church in Cartersville and uh, my religious education person was all abuzz with some plane that had run into a building in New York, and I assumed that she was talking about back during the Second War, there was an airplane that ran into the Empire State Building. And she said, no, 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 come look. And we looked and saw pictures on the computer screen, and I thought, oh my gosh, what is this? And then I remember the second plane, and I'm like, oh my goodness gracious. The um, I'm a building construction major, and so I, when I saw the buildings falling, I knew exactly what that was. We call it pancaking, where once one of the floors above uh, gives way, it just pancakes down and takes the other floors out with it. It wasn't very consoling at all, just an observation, but then watching the cleanup, it's uh, just a terrible thing, so much sadness. <laughs> 